Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner, where our mission in life is to keep great radio from the past alive. And today we're featuring the man, Dan Ingram. I mean, what can you say about him? He's considered the best in the business. Many of us, like myself, got in the business because we heard him and we thought, man, I want to do what he does. And he made it look so easy. And once I got on the air, I discovered it is not easy. <laughs> For more than 20 years, Dan was one of the top jocks on the top station in the country, New York's 77 WABC. Ingram spent five decades on the radio in New York. He knew from the time he was a child he wanted to be on the radio. And after landing jobs in Dallas and St. Louis, he became the afternoon man for WABC, where he spent almost his whole WABC career hosting afternoons, except for a short period hosting mornings, which may have just been a bad, bad dream and never really happened. Uh, Ingram was known for his wisecracks, spoofing song titles, ridiculing songs and artists, as well as ads on his show. He was funny and he could make you laugh over a seven second intro. That was good. Anyway, he spent so much time there. He became a part of the New York landscape. And after WABC flipped the talk, he decided he was just going to work on his voiceover business. He was successful at that, but he wanted to be back on the radio. And after two years in 1984, 92 WKTU came calling for Dan to do the afternoon show. It was good to hear him again. Again, but it was never quite the same as it was at WABC. And in 1985, 92KTU flipped to 92.3 K-Rock, and Dan was just back to his voiceover business again, which didn't bother him at all. He came back on the radio in 1991 doing weekends on CBS FM, and it was the perfect fit. And it also fit perfectly into Dan's schedule. Dan kept that up till 2003 when management kept cutting his time and cutting his time, and he said, eh, why bother? Uh, Dan passed on in 2018, but to this day, Dan is still considered the gold standard in Top 40 Radio. Hey, if you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, and after you do, smack that bell. And when you do, you'll be notified whenever we post anything new, which is normally 3 p.m. every day. All right, if you're ready, let's go back to 1981 and listen to the one and only Dan Ingram on 77 WABC New York. It's the ones that you love. There's the fly on WABC and Ingram S. We got the news coming up. Kathy Maloney have news for you. And Joe Nola with Shadow Traffic. That's coming up in just a minute from now. Beloved first side as you enjoy the values of Livingston Mall Summer Smash Clearance Event. The first set offers smashing prices. Second set, smashing values. Third set, smashing merchandise. They reserve court time. Don't double fault. Come in now through Sunday, July 19th, and enjoy smashing courteous service, air conditioned comfort, plenty of parking for the rally of values. 130 fine stores and services, including Bamberger's, Haynes, and Spears. And you can ace this one. Livingston Mall, located on Eisenhower Parkway and South Orange Avenue in Livingston, New Jersey. They're open Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Sunday from noon to 5. Those warm summer nights enjoy concert series Wednesday, July 15, 22, and 29. Listen to the NJ Pops. All the concerts beginning at 9.30 p.m. and no admission charge. Very smashing. Let me just take this. There, right, smash. It's time now for Joe Nolan, who is here to do WABC Shadow Traffic. I'll pull a sheet over that one and let it just go away. All right. Grand Central Parkway, Long Island Expressway, Bruckner, Cross Bronx, all pretty much normal at this point, as is the Holland Tunnel, if you are going to be traveling north on the Brooklyn-Queens Expressway. Very heavy traffic, Flushing Avenue area, this because of a disabled in the right lane. Then again, as you leave, Kent heading up towards Megiddo Sunboat, lots of slowness. Northbound Harlem River Drive, extra heavy traffic to the outbound George Washington Bridge. Northbound on the FDR Drive, slow from the 40s up through the 60s. This because of a disabled again in the right lane. Earlier we were telling you about problems on 287 in Westchester. That just about all cleared up now. What had happened is the road had buckled in a couple of places. All open now, but you should still have extra heavy and slow traffic westbound through White Plains on 287. But by the time you get over to the Tappan Zee Bridge, again, you should be okay. New Jersey tra New Jersey uh, Turnpike, rather, has no bans or restrictions. Transit Authority, Uptown M and Double R Service. Uh, water problem at Lawrence Street, so you can see some scattered delays there. And stay away from Broadway and 33rd. There is a 
three alarm fire burning in that area. Broadway and 33rd, a fire going on there. Stay away. I am Joe Nolan with WABC Shadow Traffic. Next on WABC is Rick James with a news update. Off to this. No, no wine bread. No. Kathy Maloney sitting in for Rick James. Oh, well, you know, can't be perfect all the time. True. Catch you next time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hubba Bubba Bubble Gum presents the Gum Fighter. Look, it's the Elder Brothers. Gum, gum Fighter, fighter this, this town ain't big, big enough for the three of us. The Gum Fighter draws his Hubba Bubba. He's blowing bubbles. Hubba Bubba, the soft, juicy, delicious bubble gum with those amazing no-stick bubbles. What a bubble. Oh, oh, oh. The Elder Brothers in trouble. Double, Double trouble. trouble. But Hubba Bubba just peeled right off. Big bubbles, no troubles. <laughs> Try luscious strawberry and golden fruit flavors. If you can just make it through today, the weatherman promises better, more comfortable times ahead. We may have some showers or thunderstorms this evening as a cold front moves in from the west. Then we can expect cooler, drier air. There are reports that the Drug Enforcement Administration is increasing the use of Paraquat to destroy marijuana fields. And Time Magazine reports this week that the DEA plans a big spraying campaign in several states. The DEA will not confirm this. A kiddie porn ring is out of business today. Police and federal agents raided several locations in Manhattan, Long Island, and upstate New York over the weekend. Four people under arrest, hundreds of films and videotapes seized. Police say the ring victimized children as young as eight years old. Some good news about Captain Kangaroo. Bob Keeshan's now reported in fair condition, resting comfortably at a hospital in suburban Toronto as he recovers from a heart attack. However, he's still in the cardiac intensive care unit. Details on these and other stories at 4.55 on New York's radio station, WABC. Chad Grove, the doobies on WABC, 26 minutes in front of five right now. How you doing on this Monday? I know it's Monday, but you know, a little while you'll be able to go home and yeah, anesthetize yourself. That's the end of it, just ends like that. Do, 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 do. Spread a little do 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 around here. Yes, do do. It's Don McLean since I don't have you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now I go over there gardeners. You like to get out in the garden, you like to dig the dirt, and like get the filth in your nails, right? Yeah, thing is do do do. You're ready on a group of the day. Ooh, ooh ah, love it. That's great. Oh, our word for the day is contretemps. Contretemps is a guy who sings very, very high. This summer, why not send those charcoal burgers off first class? Serve them up on a Thomas's English muffin instead of a plain old hamburger bun. For a burger that will nearly pass, a hamburger bun will do. But if you want a burger to be first class, a Thomas's English muffin is the one for you. Crisp and crunchy in every nook and cranny. It's so much up your burgers first class on a Thomas's, the original English muffin. Those dandy little nooks and crannies give Thomas's a taste no hamburger bun can match. Crisp, crunchy Thomas's. Ooh they make everything you eat taste first class. For a burger that will nearly pass, a hamburger bun will do. But if you want a burger to be first class, a Thomas's English muffin is the one for you. Thomas's promises. Hey, join the life support team. Become a blood donor. Contact the Greater New York Blood Program in Manhattan for information. Just call them in New York, 570-3158. take several of those. That's nice. We're going out in a lot of love right now, which I believe is 137th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. It's Nicolette Larson. Yeah. First big record for on WABC with, as always, a better song. Have you seen
15 of new telephones and pay phones. You know, so many people ripping them up. The phone company has put stainless steel around a money box at the bottom of the phone. It's impervious to knives, fists, hammers, fireworks, and even a quarter of a stick of dynamite. Won't so forget it. Unless you got a half stick of dynamite. But then you're going to have to chase the money all the way uptown. All righty. Okay. I don't need mm-hmm. you at all. I don't need Dewey either. Or Huey or Louie, any of those little ducks. It's uh, 12 minutes before 5 on WABC. Here's your WABC exclusive radar weather. Chance of a shower or a thunderstorm or a shower into the evening. Gradual clearing tonight, about 73. Partly sunny, less humid tomorrow. Get up to 89, but less humidity. Clear skies tomorrow night. The long-range thing says Wednesday's going to be sunny and pleasant. 85 or so for the high. 93 and sunny at WABC. Dear, stop holding your nose. I really hate the way this motel room smells. You really need my all great. Go ahead, dear. Chance it. But I really hate gas station restrooms. You really need my all Take Lysol disinfectant spray along when you travel. It kills the germs on surfaces other people leave behind and knocks evil odors out of the air. If you hate germs and you hate smells, you really, 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 really need it. You really need Lysol spray. Really. On the trip, we forgot the map. But we remember, remember the wet one. At the beach, we forgot Mom's bathing cap. But we remember, remember the wet one. When your family picnics, don't forget to remember the wet ones. Moist towelettes that clean messy little hands and faces better than anything dry. And wet ones clean big hands and faces, too. When you're away from home, wherever you may roam, don't forget to remember, remember the wet ones. When you buy a new mattress, you'd like to have the best, wouldn't you? Well, here's a great opportunity. Right now, at Bamberger's, every Sealy mattress is on sale for 30 to 50% less. And every means every. So you even get 30% off Sealy's premium Posturepedic. A Sealy twin-size Posturepedic mattress is just $149. A Sealy Extra Firm Plus quilted twin-size mattress is just $89. Every Sealy mattress, 30 to 50% off regular price. Even 30% off Sealy Posturepedic. All this week at all Bamberger stores. Thank you very kindly, sir. Days are hot and humid, and summer is in the air. Central Park and Jones Beach, good times everywhere. It's summer in the city, for everyone to see. It's just your style, it's New York style, here for you. was 234, not 324. See, they got it written down wrong on this little thing here. It says, uh, where does it say? That says 234, and the other one says 324. Is that, is that what it says on the little thing? See, that's wrong. See, when you take, when the people, we got amateurs around. Uh, it's 93 degrees and sunny right now, WABC. News is coming up in uh, just a moment from about now. And the ice is so hard. Well, maybe a piece of nice soft trident will help you feel better. Mmm, cinnamon. It's so soft. And remember, four out of five dentists surveyed recommend sugarless gum for the patients who chew gum. Peggy, could I have another piece? Another piece? In case I fall again. (laughs) (laughs) Trident sugarless gum. Recommended by moms like Peggy Fleming who care about teeth. I don't know Peggy Fleming was a mom. How about that? Well, listen, you know, I guess... uh, yeah, sooner or later we all do, at least a few times. Anyway, it's uh, it's almost news time. And uh, let me remind you before Nolan gets here, because he'll be amongst the noon, the uh, Joe Nolan Bake Off against Brian Wilson the, in the great lasagna taste-off on WABC. You could be an official taster. Now, the Ross and Wilson will have the details in the morning here at 77 WABC. Right now in the afternoon, we got the latest from Action Central and all those places around the world, up a block and down the street. And here with the news is Kathleen Maloney. Those of you sweating your way home in a traffic jam have something to look forward to. This oppressive heat wave we've been suffering through is about to end. Forecasters say a cold front is moving in from the west. It could cause some showers and thunderstorms this evening, but then we'll feel cooler, drier air. It's 89 degrees and cloudy in New York. Next on WABC, Joe Nolan in shadow traffic. I've got a car that's fine. It's all mine, complete with the girl to sit beside me. Uh-huh. But how can he be sure his insurance?
Defense is secure with uncertainty. It's building up inside me. You probably worry about not having the insurance coverage you need today. <laughs> I do that, Allstate. Or paying for insurance coverage you don't need. I do that, too. So Allstate offers a free auto insurance value review. It's a new way for you to be sure your coverage fits today's needs at our best possible price. Ooh, that's possibly the best idea we've heard today. See your Allstate agent for a free insurance value review. And Allstate wait that's up to date. Ain't it great? For ideas that make good sense today. You're in the Allstate Insurance Company. Joe Nolan may not remember names too well, but I think he knows what he's talking about when it comes to traffic. I'm sorry. I, I do that all the time to you. I didn't mean to do that again. If you are going to be traveling on the Cross Valley Parkway northbound, we have a report of a misplaced tractor trailer at 160th Avenue, which is right near Francis Lewis Boulevard. Eastbound on the Grand Central Parkway, very heavy traffic through Kew Gardens. The outbound Long Island Expressway, very heavy from the tanks of Junction Boulevard. Then again, you're sluggish as you come up on Main Street. Northbound Harlem River Drive, very heavy exiting to the George Washington Bridge northbound on the drive. Also, you're going to have some slow traffic from the 30s to the 90s, so not a good day on the east side. Might want to try the west side this afternoon. Instead, you're going to have very heavy traffic if you're going to be heading all the way up to the George. Two really big backups. If you are going to be out to the Holland or Lincoln Tunnels, well, the Holland about 10, and may I make it about 15, Lincoln about 10. And if you are going to be traveling out onto the Transit Authority tracks, scatter delays on the uh, up the town, B as in boy, D as in David, M as in, uh, well, whatever, N as in Nancy, double R, and QB. All with scatter delays up and down. So I am Joan Olin with WABC Shadow Traffic. There were lots of threats against President Reagan's life after he was shot late in March. One of them was from 22-year-old Edward Richardson of Pennsylvania. The threats contained in two letters he left in a New Haven hotel. Well, as you may remember, Richardson was arrested this past April in New York City. He was carrying a pistol. At the time, he pleaded innocent to the charge, but today changed that plea to guilty. His penalty, one year in a prison set up to treat the emotionally disturbed. He could have gotten as much as 10 years. Westchester County District Attorney Carl Vergari says he will not meet the inmates at the Westchester County Jail, no matter what they think. No trouble up there today as repair crews work to fix the place up after a weekend of violence. We asked Vergari if the prisoners will be punished for their behavior. I understand that there was a, uh, an agreement or an, uh, reached that there would be no reprisal taken. I was not a party to that agreement. I made no agreement with anybody with respect to reprisal. Now, I, I suppose what they mean when they're talking about reprisals is uh, prosecution for uh, criminal acts in connection with the uprising destruction of government property and so on. Paraquat is a lethal herbicide that effectively kills marijuana plants, and the Drug Enforcement Administration intends to use it for just that purpose. Spokesman David Hoover explains. This will be the first time, I believe, that uh, Paraquat would be used domestically in terms of marijuana eradication programs. But it's my understanding that Paraquat is widely used in uh, agriculture and such things as uh, sugar cane and uh, sugar beets, rather, and apple orchards and things like that. According to a report in Time magazine, the DEA is planning to spray marijuana fields with Paraquat in several states, but Hoover denies this, saying first the state must request it. Some producers of child pornography in New York got a big surprise over the weekend. WABC's Paul Deckelman reports. They called it Operation Hawk as raiders from local law enforcement agencies and the FBI swooped down on sites in Nassau County, Manhattan, and upstate, smashing what they called a big kitty porn operation. Nassau District Attorney Dennis Dillon said a lot of young kids were involved. On numerous occasions, young boys uh, ranging in age from 8 to 15 years were brought to a home at 664 Lincoln Street in Baldwin Harbor and introduced to men in their middle ages. Then the young boys were sodomized and sexually abused as videotaped cameras would record the activity. All told, four people were arrested and authorities say they seized hundreds of videotapes and reels of film. For those of you who have been worried about Bob Keeshan since he had that heart attack, some good news. Doctors in Toronto expect the well-known Captain Kangaroo to recover completely with rest and medication. Keeshan is said to be resting comfortably today.